If you're a fighter and you've ever dealt with self-doubt, lack of self-belief, low confidence, anxiety, or pre-fight nerves, then stick around, this is for you. I turn fighters into stone cold killers with unshakable self-belief through the tips I'm about to share with you in this video. This has worked for UFC champion Chris Weidman, top 10 UFC welterweight Sean Brady, middleweight Continental of America's champion Shane Mosley Jr., and it will work for you too. My name is Brandon Epstein and I'm a mental performance coach. I've actually boxed for years myself, so I know what it's like to prepare for and compete in a fight and everything that comes with that experience. Stick around for the last tip I'm gonna share with you. Consider it your emergency parachute. If you get in the ring or octagon and you have crazy nerves, this tip I'm gonna share with you is gonna help you remove them and get into that flow state. The first tip is to clean up your mental space. I want you to close your eyes and imagine this. Your mind is like your own piece of land you live on. If you have a bunch of drama and distractions in your life, it's like treating your land like a garbage dump. It may be livable now, but it's not optimal and definitely not sustainable. Clean up your mental space by getting rid of distractions like the news, unnecessary time on your phone or social media, any negative habits or addictions you have let linger, any negative people you have allowed into your life, negative environments that you put yourself in, anything that you know is out of integrity with the person you wanna be. This won't be easy, but if you look inward, you know the process is simple. These type of sacrifices must be made if you want a clear and focused mind. Number two, you need to audit your belief system. I literally wrote a book on this that you can find linked in the description. It's called Program to Fail. But let me give you the cliff notes. Whatever you believe to be true will ultimately contribute to the recurring thoughts in your head and the feelings in your body. So if you're having recurring negative thoughts in your mind and recurring negative feelings in your body, you might want to audit your belief system before your next fight. So here's how you do this in real time. When you have, let's say, anxiety before you spar, before a fight, or any negative emotion, feel into it, close your eyes and actually feel the emotion and ask yourself, what am I believing to be true right now that would make me feel this way? Once you identify this belief, write it down and accept it because what you can't accept won't change and what you resist will persist. Once you've fully accepted that belief, you wanna choose an opposite one to replace it with. Here are some examples from fighters I've worked with in the past. An old belief was, I'm not experienced enough to win this fight. We turn that into a new belief, which is, I believe I have more than enough experience to win this fight. Old belief was, I believe I'm going to get knocked out. New belief became, I believe I'm going to knock out my opponent. Old belief, I believe I'm not ready to fight. New belief, I believe I am ready to fight. Now, if you just say these as words in your rational mind, it means nothing. But if you go through this process I'm outlining of actually accepting your true negative belief and then transmuting it to the opposite, you're gonna feel the energy in your body change. And you're gonna feel the emotions change as well. So what you're gonna notice is that when you go through the process of transmuting these beliefs, you're gonna find yourself feeling a lot more confident, peaceful, and present. Anything you believe to be true, you want propelling you towards the outcomes you desire. Number three, do self-hypnosis. Have you ever heard of Mike Tyson going on some of his memorable rants when he was in the prime of his career? Well, a lot of these things that he believed about himself were programmed into him during hypnosis by his mentor, Custy Amato. You can do the same thing for yourself by taking all these new beliefs you come up with for yourself and you can record yourself on a voice memo, reading all of these out loud. And then you wanna to listen to this every morning when you're waking up with your eyes closed, every night before you fall asleep with your eyes closed, as much you can in between during meditation. Really the more you listen to it in a relaxed state, the more it's gonna seep into your subconscious and become your new belief system. This is also how you take back control over the voice in your head. Number four, induce an ego death. You know that deep down, you have a worst case scenario for your fight. So instead of acting like it doesn't exist, accept it. Whatever it is, getting knocked out, losing, being embarrassed, letting your coaches down, having everyone who supports you abandon you. Whatever your ego is holding on to, let it go. You can do so by visualizing and experiencing the worst case scenario playing out. By doing so, you're going to release the energy around it. Now this may sound counterintuitive, but understand this, your subconscious holds on to a lot of energy when there's something negative that's suppressed. So just by viewing it, seeing it, accepting it, and surrendering it, you allow yourself to release this energy and you're gonna feel so much more peaceful, in flow, and present. The truth is the end outcome is outside of your control. So just allow yourself to fully grasp the things that are in your control, where you're focusing and what you're doing. Number five, visualize your success. Every day you need to be visualizing your success and conditioning your subconscious to know the outcome is done before you get into the fight. The reason visualization is so effective in these deep meditative states is because your subconscious mind does not know the difference between what's actually happening in the physical world and what's happening in your mind when you're in a deep, relaxed meditative state. 
So the more reps you get, the more confident you're gonna feel when you actually get into the fight. I put a few of my best visualization meditations in the description below so you can check those out and use them before your next fight. I've got one for boxers, one for MMA fighters, and one that you can use before sparring or before a fight. Number six, regulate your nervous system. This is your emergency parachute that you can use in the worst case scenario. So when you fight, you wanna be present. You don't wanna be too amped up and you don't wanna be too relaxed. You wanna be right there in the middle, neutral and present. So if you find that maybe before the fight, you got too hyped up, released too much adrenaline and you get into the ring or octagon, you're feeling very apathetic and lethargic, you're gonna do this technique right here to get yourself amped back up and in that zone. You're gonna bring your chin to your chest and you're gonna almost hyperventilate as you breathe in through your nose, just like this. This is called breath of fire. <laughs> You're gonna keep the breath up in the chest, nice and shallow, very rapid. If you do this for around 30 seconds or so, you're gonna feel your nervous system start to pick up and you're gonna feel yourself get more into that engaged, sympathetic fight or flight state. Now, on the opposite side of the spectrum, if you find yourself too amped up, you need to bring yourself back down, you're gonna do the opposite type of breathing. You're gonna breathe in through your stomach and you're gonna breathe in nice and slow in and out of your nose, just like this. So as slow as you can, deeply in through the nose, deeply out, extend the breast as much as you can, and breathing through that lower belly. So as you can see, when you have shallow breaths come through your chest rapidly, you're gonna amp yourself up, and when you do slow breaths through the lower belly, you're gonna relax yourself back down. So do whatever you need to do to find yourself in that sweet spot. So this is either gonna upregulate your nervous system or downregulate your nervous system to get you in your zone. Okay, that's all I got for you. It's time for you to execute your mental game plan. You have all the steps necessary to have your best performance. Use these tools, go put them into practice in your sparring or your fights and come back here, drop me a comment on YouTube, let me know how it goes, hit me up on Instagram, shoot me a DM, let me know how it goes. And if you want some further support, you can either Number one, check out my book, Program to Fail. It has my full playbook for mental performance. Number two, you can explore one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. I'll put the application in the description below. And finally, I have a free resource for everyone. If you want the first chapter of my book, it's linked in the description as well. It's available at thebrandonepstein.com. Get the first chapter for free, and I'll start you on your journey. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. This is Brandon Epstein, and I'll catch you in the next one.